Well, many migrants arriving in Denver have never experienced cold temperatures like we're going to see over the next week. Beginning tonight, a local church will open their doors overnight to migrants new to our community. Your reporter Ashley Portillo has more about the grassroots effort and the work behind the scenes to make this happen. Denver Friends Church will be opening their emergency overnight shelter on nights when temperatures are expected to dip below 32 degrees. Now up to 29 migrants can actually sleep in this gymnasium inside of the church. And today I spoke with the pastor behind the efforts. About two months ago, it was a neighbor of Pastor Keith Reeser who brought the migrant crisis to his attention. From there, I just I started praying and I started asking local church leadership, should we consider something, some type of a response? And what would that look like? That's when Reeser recognized that the growing migrant population needs the church's help. We are getting a ton of people and each one of these is a life that it should be valued. The church then held three town hall meetings to talk about solutions like providing meals to migrants and a warm place to sleep. We were able to gather people, rally them around the idea of what should we do? How can we help? And from those questions, there we went. We went into this beautiful next season of, I think this is happening. It's taken a few weeks to get the gym up to code to house this many people. But now the church will be able to operate as an overnight shelter. So they can get landed on their feet, they can get out into this world, and they can have a decent shot at life. The plan has even gotten support from the city and law enforcement. The city also provided mats for the migrants to sleep on. The church estimates it'll cost about $500 every night to run the overnight shelter. And volunteers and funding are still needed. We're ready for this evening, as ready as we can be, and we're excited to be able to serve the community. Reeser recognizes they're a small church, but they're making a big impact. I want to inspire people to look at this situation, that we are doing something, and we believe you can do it too. The church will be operating as an overnight shelter from 7 p.m. till 8 a.m. the next morning. And the next morning, migrants will also be able to get breakfast as they head out the door. Reporting in Denver, I'm Ashley Portillo, covering Colorado First. Just beautiful. Ashley, thank you. City of Denver says it is providing shelter and services for more than 4,700 migrants. Shelters are near capacity with 200 migrants arriving this week. The city says if this crisis continues, expenses could reach as high as 15 million per month. City has asked for federal help. Mayor's office says they'll also use multiple strategies to try to fund the gap. That includes finding out how to save money with other agencies.